Hello, I'm Susan Bushell, energy therapist. I'm based in Guelph, Ontario, Canada. I'm an AMET International EFT master trainer. I teach, train and supervise EFT students from all over Canada. And I also do one-on-one -on -one session work, both in person and online. During my EFT trainings, I teach the Callahan collarbone breathing technique. And I'm always asked, why isn't this in your manual? <laughs> And it's because it's way too complicated to write down and would probably be very confusing, but it's actually simple to learn and far easier on a video, the magic of video. So here it is for all you students that wanted a video of this and for anybody else that would love to use this for calming down intense emotion and particularly fear or panic. All right. Important to learn this, obviously, when you're not in the middle of a panic attack. Tricky to go and then find this video and try to use it. So learn this while you're calm and quiet and you can focus. Memorize it and then you've got it as a skill to use if and when you have panic attacks or if you're a highly anxious individual. Alrighty? I'm right-handed. So I like to start with my right hand. Um, start with whatever feels right for you, but I like to stay organized. So I put my right fingertips from my right hand on the collarbone points. Now, if you know EFT, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know EFT, you're going to come to the episternal notch. On either side of that episternal notch are those two bumps on your collarbone. Come down about an inch to an inch and a half, and there are these two indentations. An easy way to find them is to curl your shoulders forward and then there's these divots, these two divots here. They're on either side of the sternum and essentially, if you're into anatomy, it's where the collarbone comes across and meets the sides of the sternum. There's almost a joint here. They may even be tender. That's helpful that you'll know that that's where they are, but also that they need some attention. So. I'm going to take my right hand, I'm going to put it on my right collarbone point, just the fingertips. And then I'm going to find this little ditch in the back of my hand. It's between my last two knuckles. There's like a groove down the tendon. This is on the triple warmer meridian, which is in charge of my fight or flight response. Get out of there, right? Emergency. Save yourself. I'm going to calm that by tapping with my three fingers on my other hand. And I'm going to take a deep breath in. Let the breath out halfway, pause, and then all the way. And then halfway in. Okay, we're gonna repeat that breath pattern. But now you're gonna take the same hand and curl your knuckles. These two knuckles, same fingers, these two knuckles go on the same point. Tapping that gamut point again in the back of the hand. Nice deep breath, breathe all the way in, halfway out, all the way out, halfway in. It's that simple. Alrighty, I've done my right hand on my right collarbone point. I'm now going to do my right hand on my left collarbone point. Same thing, that little divot. Back of the hand, that, that gamut point, that groove between my last two knuckles, three fingers tapping there. Nice deep breath in. Halfway out, all the way out, halfway in. Okay, fold my hand over so that my two knuckles are again on that same point, tapping in the back of the hand, deep breath in, halfway out, all the way out, halfway in. Okay, so I've done fingertips, knuckles, fingertip, knuckles with my right hand. Guess what? I'm going to do the same with my left. <laughs> Starting on the right side keeps me organized. I know that, you know, I'm getting everything done left hand, but with my fingertips on the right side. Breathe all the way in, halfway out, all the way out, halfway in. Okay, knuckles all the way in, halfway out, all the way out, halfway in. And now same hand, but I'm going to slide over the left collarbone point all the way in, halfway out, all the way out, halfway in. And last one, the knuckles on the left hand all the way in, halfway out, 
all the way out, halfway in. Okay, looks totally goofy, doesn't it? But it works. It allows you to calm your energy system, your body will relax, you come out of the fight or flight, and you begin to be able to think straight, problem solve, recognize choices, and strategize to solve whatever it is that's got you overwhelmed or worked up. Even to just become mindful of what it is, what has upset me. Okay, I'm going to show you it again without any words, and you can see how quickly it can be delivered. Okay, Callahan's Collarbone Breathing Technique. I know there's other versions out on the internet and on YouTube. That's the one I teach, that's the one I learn, that's the one I use. And I think there's many ways to calm the body. There's no one right way or wrong way. Try this out, memorize it, use it as you need it. This is Susan Bushell energy therapist from Guelph, Ontario, Canada. My website is freeyouremotions.com. Bye for now.